Hello, this is Big Bag. I'm now out at this village called Björkholmen. This village will cease to exist because they want to open a mine, a big iron mine in Gallok behind me by the lake Gallok Jaure. That lake will disappear. This is like in paradise in Sápmi, indigenous people country. Uh, oh, I get emotional by this. Um, I'm gonna show you what they are going to take away if we can't prevent it. Look at this. Few people still live here and they live by fishing. Some are reindeer herders, hunters, and some got part-time jobs as being a part of the big industrial society. But everyone has the heritage here in the Sami roots. And all of this will disappear when the mine comes. Can you see the sign? Your call, man. They will dig off, off the road so nobody can come here no more. And they will be build these big magazines for the water they pump out from the open pit mine. The poisonous water with uh, lead and copper and uh, all kinds of poisonous metals and other chemicals. This will look like Mars or the moon, a scenario from hell, they will take this paradise and totally destroy it. The water you saw in the background when I was filming down here, it's part of Luleå Elv. And Luleå Elv provides drinking water to over 100,000 people. At the mine they are building here, 
they want to build there. Um, it's the first one in the mining district. This is an iron ore. Uh, say two billion dollars of iron. After that they will make one on the other side of the water for copper. Uh, even farther up another road they will make one for uranium. Yes, radioactive uranium on indigenous land. This is horrible. Uh, the reindeer herders, some of them will have to stop. And if you stop herding reindeer, it is forever. Because the herds use the same roads, the same trails when they walk between the summer fields up in the mountains and the winter fields in the forest. And if you break this chain, when the old reindeer teaches the younger ones, it will disappear. So, even though I travel in this wonderful place, it's, it's with great sadness in my heart. The sign here says, here it is, open roads close. This road is not for the, for the public. I'm gonna drive down so you can see the water. See some of the paradise. Poor, poor people who live here have been struggling hard for all their lives in generations. And now they will be taken, everything will be taken from them. They just have to leave. And this will all be gone. It's horrible. I'm gonna show you now. Houseboat, fishing boats, bridges for fishing, mountains. The air is so clear, it smells so nice. Poor people. This, this is a shame. This is a total shame. After Sweden got the right wing government, uh, they changed our mineral law. So now foreign companies just have to pay half a percent in Texas to start a mine here. That is nothing. Before it was, I think, 33%. So if someone took 3 billion, we got one. Now if they take 3 billion, we got several thousand dollars just. It's open season here. It's like Klondike gold fever for all the metals. The war on ore. Uh, last summer a group of activists started a protest camp on the road down to where they will be the build the open pit mine. And in time, that grow bigger and bigger. And it was police actions many times where police come and took them away and arrested them and 
they were pulled in the sand and they were stamped on and there were fights and there were policemen standing on the Sami flag and there were like a racial war, like apartheid. Not nice at all. Yes, yes. So, maybe this is the last time I can drive this road. Look at this place before it's gone. I hope that the protesters will win and that the the British company Beowulf Mining, Beowulf Mining, is the mine prospect the mine prospectors here. They prospect and have drilled over 100 holes to take, and they have also used explosives to blow up ditches, to take samples to see how how much the ore the percentage of iron and the worth of it so they can get their stocks to go high and uh, make money they want to sell this mine to, to, to China to a Chinese company so they can do the, the out digging so in 50 they will be using explosives for 15 years at least to make this big big crater, this open pit mine and the dams with the toxic waste is on the, is on the downhill slide to Luleå Elv and if or when those dams collapse we will have a poison scandal, a catastrophe with the drinking water for 100,000 people knocked out. Reindeer herding stop, fishing will stop. The berries, they, we can put them, pick lingon berries and blueberries here for jam and lemonade and stuff like that. They, that, that will be over too. Everything will be over. It will just be a moon, moon landscape. Toxic. Well, end of this report. Over and out. Big bag.